The Canadian January inflation rate has been announced and we've seen a nice significant decrease from 3.4% to 2.9%. What does this mean for real estate? I'd love to tell you my predictions, but first, let's take a look at what everybody at Right Choice has been up to this week. The market is starting to move again. We're getting a lot more action on properties and here at Right Choice, we have a lot of options still available. If you're looking for development opportunities, we've got single family development and we've got 14 unit or maybe more if you want different available. We've got duplex in Port Colborne, it's a great property. And then of course we've got more single family properties in Waynefleet and Port Colborne as well. So there's still a lot of opportunities, some properties with good prices and the market's starting to pick up. So if you're interested in any of these and want to get started, let us know. This week, we're launching a new project in Cambridge, Marcos Series Towns. And what I like about this project is the price. Townhome starts from 679900 for three bedrooms. And if you're interested to add one more bedroom, it's just $20,000. On top of that, you get free appliances, free assignment, and zero development charges. This week, I looked at some houses, and one of them that we looked at was a power sale. Now, that's a little bit different. Long story short, what it means is a bank is usually selling a house that somebody defaulted on. So the bank doesn't actually know anything about the property. So a lot of the time it's really buyer beware when buying a power of sale property because nobody knows other than what you can see with your own eyes. There is a huge correlation between inflation rates and interest rates set out by the Bank of Canada. And now that the inflation rate has come down below 3%, a target they've been talking about, I am predicting that we will see the Bank of Canada start to lowest interest rates. And with that, what will happen with real estate? Very likely demand will increase, there'll be more sales, and I would not be shocked at all if we start to see prices rise again if this all comes to fruition. 